Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and today I'm going to show you a really simple turkey card you can make for Thanksgiving. I have my card, and I put some contrasting paper on the front already. And I also need these giant flowers. I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're four inches across. Um, I don't know of any other company that makes them. Heidi Swap used to, but they discontinued them. But I know you can find these places like Hobby Lobby. And I have this little brown scallop. It's one and seven eighths inches. And I also have some crystal stickles, some little googly eyes, and a couple little scraps that I used for my little sentiment also. And I just took these little scraps because I'm going to need those too. And I have a couple of adhesives, and I think that's about all I need. Okay, I'm going to take my little brown scallop and put it on the front of my flowers here to see how much I need to cut off. These are going to be the feathers for the back of my turkey. It looks like I only need maybe four. Oh, let's go with five and four. And I'm going to hold my flowers like this and just take my scissors. I'm going to just trim down in a little V because these are going to get glued on the back of my scallops. So, let's cut that off. So this is going to get glued on the back like this. Of course, there are the little feathers for our turkey. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You probably want a liquid glue for this. Um, I like this uh, Fabri-Tac. Just because it always holds. I never have to worry about it coming off. I'm going to glue this one first and put a little adhesive on the back of that one. And line up your red flower so that the petals aren't right behind each other. I want a little bit of overlap there. So that's going to be my little turkey feathers. Next I'm going to take my red paper and the best I can describe this you know the little red thing that hangs down on the turkey I think it's called a waddle or something like that <laughs> the best I can describe it is just cut almost like a peanut on your paper it has something that looks kinda like it and that little thing is going to go I'll put it on the left side here of my card, like that, for my little turkey. And now, take your little yellow scrap and just simply cut off one of the corners. That's kind of tiny, but we're going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that too. See if I can get any to come out here. Okay. This is going to go kind of on top, and all we need next are to put our little eyes on. My glue's getting down to the end here. We'll just use this kind. Okay, there's one eye. Put on one side of the beak. The other eye is going to go on the other side of the beak. So there we have our kind of silly looking little turkey, but he's cute. So he's going to go right on the top of our card, and I like to pop them up just for a little added interest on our card. So I'll put some zots on the back. And the kind of cute thing you can do is put it so it sticks out the top of your card. Just a little. Isn't that cute? Then all we really need to do is put our little happy Thanksgiving sentiment at the bottom. Then I'm going to take my stickles and I'm just going to go around the edges of the feathers a little bit. So you want to do this a little bit of ahead of time so it can dry. The stickles take probably a couple hours to dry really well. And it just adds a little extra to your 
card here. So let's just go around them. Do a little bit on the back feathers. And that should be about it. Put some over here. There we go. There's our cute little Thanksgiving turkey card. Thanks so much for watching.